Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to be doing a poured painting, but not poured in the sense that you might be thinking of where we just pour a bunch of paint on the canvas, kind of move it around all, you know, crazy and then just let it dry and that's the painting. The way we're going to do a poured painting, it's a little more precise and it's not just a poured painting, but a lot of the paint is going to be poured so it's like it is and it's not. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And I actually don't know how well it's going to turn out. I've seen somebody else do these types of paintings and they, they do them all the time and they're very good at them. I haven't really done it before, so it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. Hopefully it turns out cool. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but essentially what we're going to start, and, and you can see that I've got uh, this, this big sheet of old canvas down because I think these paints are going to get everywhere. And I've been doing uh, quite a few acrylic paintings lately, so I wanted to use my gloss enamel because I haven't been uh, using it as much. So I thought we'd crack it out and try it. All right, so colors, we've got uh, regular, I guess you would just call it like a regular red. It's kind of a bright red. Uh, yellow, purple, orange, white, and black. So we're going to give these a good stir. Um, I did stir them a little before I started recording, but just to kind of break it up. And I actually am going to add a little water to some of these because they're they're thick. And I'll show you the consistency I'm looking for. Um, let's see if I can see the orange here. So this orange, it's it's hard to see. It's it's coming off pretty pretty easily, but we wanted even a little bit more thin than that. Essentially, when you stir it, you want very little resistance. Actually, this purple is in a pretty good spot. So this purple, it might be hard to see uh, the, the thickness of it, but this purple, you see how quickly it runs off of the stick? Well, that's kind of the consistency we want. We almost want it to feel not, not like water, but very little resistance so that when you stir it, it's just it's just very easy to stir. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the black. I don't know if you guys can see uh, these colors all the way over here. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit to that. And then uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to all of these and stir them. I'll probably just uh, time lapse this real quick so you don't have to sit here and watch me do that for 10 minutes. Okay, I think we're good. Um, all right, so now that we've got our kind of colors stirred up, we've got them a little thinned out just, just so that they kind of move. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a background first with these two colors. I did that three, but these two, um, by putting them on the canvas and then kind of scraping them around with this rubber scraper. And then once we have our background, we're gonna move those paints aside and we're gonna put the other colors on top of that. Um, and then we're gonna kind of spray them as we do that. So here we go. So we're gonna start with the red and we're just gonna put uh, just kind of a strip of red, not too much, but enough that it kind of covers the canvas. Um, and then we're gonna put the yellow on the opposite side. So we'll put that here. It's almost like ketchup and mustard. All right. So we're going to move those. I hope that's enough paint. Again, I haven't really done this, so not sure if it's enough. But we're just going to kind of move these out. And we don't want to mix it too much so that we lose the colors. But it kind of does look like ketchup and mustard. All right, cool, there we go. All right, so we've got our 
paint down. Got our canvas covered. And I think with some other colors, this might look a little, little more uh, appetizing, <laughs> appetizing, appealing. I don't know, um, but it's fine. We're, you know, like I said, we're just kind of learning here, so it's gonna be okay. All right, so we're gonna put that uh, rubber squeegee in some water so that they, that can soak. So here's what we're gonna do. Now that we've got our background, what we want to do is we want to put on the colors kind of in designs or whatever. And then we're going to spray them to kind of thin them out to see if they move a little bit to give them some kind of fluidity. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do like the white and then we're going to do black and then uh, actually we're going to do black and then white because we want the black to kind of be a background. And then we're going to do white uh, and then we're going to do orange and then we're going to do purple. And we're going to kind of layer them out or stack them. And then we're going to spray them to see if they move. So here we go. So we'll just kind of do a little design with that. And I don't want to do too much because I'm not trying to fill the whole thing. All right, so then we'll do some white here. And I think that's pretty good. So then we'll do orange here. And lastly, some purple. Alright, and now we're going to spray it and see kind of what happens. So I think that he doesn't spray it too close to the surface. I think he just kind of puts a lot of water on it, uh, or not water, but thinners, whatever he uses, I don't know. But the water isn't really breaking it up necessarily. So I wonder if you do have to kind of spray it closer to kind of get it to move. I don't know. To me, it kind of looks like a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's just becoming mud. So that happened. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for. And I don't really have anywhere to pour this either. So that's not exactly ideal either. So I think Either the paint was too thick or the, I think the thinners that this person that I was watching also used was actual like thinners with alcohol and not just water. So that could have also contributed to it. But I think the biggest part of it is that they use, I think they probably used alcohol uh, or they used oil-based paints with thinners and not water base paints with water. Um, I might be able to emulate some kind of similar design if I use thinned out paints, just not even spraying water on it, but just using thinner paints. I've done a splash painting before where I just kind of threw watered down paints on top of the canvas and it actually turned out kind of cool. So maybe I'll just do another one of those in the future. So overall, this didn't really work out for me. Uh, so if you use water-based enamels, this, this may not work out for you. I don't know. Maybe you can try it with thinner paints and you can get it to work with water. But, um, I'm thinking that overall they used gloss enamel that was oil-based and they used actual thinners to kind of break that paint apart as opposed to just water, which kind of, you know, sits on the surface. 
So anyways, that is the experiment. Uh, didn't really work out as I'd hoped, but again, we were just kind of learning. So I think it's going to be okay. I wonder what happens if I just kind of scrape it. Let's just see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, now that, that actually looks pretty cool too. It's like uh, that that turned out cooler than uh, the design I was trying to get. Oh, now it's just breaking apart and it looks ugly. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. It was, uh, I'm just gonna consider it not a success, but this happens when you experiment and I just wanted to share that with you so that you could kind of see what happens. So I think on a day where I have some sunshine and I can get outside and, and do another splash painting. I plan on doing the Pollock style painting in the near future because we're about 1750 subscribers. So going to make that happen, the Pollock style painting. Uh, but I think maybe I'll also do the splash painting where just kind of pour a bunch of watered down paints on the, on the canvas and kind of see what happens. So that's it for the video guys. If you liked it, let me know if you didn't. If that's okay, you can let me know too. Um, but hopefully I'll see you in another one. Take care, God bless, and see you then.